it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. So today's video is a re-upload for those of you that got the notification a couple of weeks back. Basically what had happened was I filmed a little collab video with two of my best friends, the Marshmallow Girls, that's their channel, they just started it recently. So I gave them a $500 budget to spend at Target. We just moved into a new apartment and I needed a bit of help to decorate and we thought it would be a fun little challenge for them to go and see what they could get. I hid in my room for a couple of hours, they did a makeover on my lounge room, and then I came out, I was really surprised by everything that they picked. Uh, but when we uploaded the video, that's kind of where things started to go downhill. The gist of what happened was that in my video I said, uh, please go watch part one before you watch part two, and people got really upset that I asked them to watch my friend's video because my friends didn't have a very good camera, and they didn't have a very good microphone, and the footage was a little bit harder to watch because it wasn't so well put together, I guess, but it was all in good fun. I thought their video was hilarious, but they got so many comments from people saying, I'm not gonna watch it, the audio is so bad, and then on my video people started attacking me and they started attacking my friends and it, it, it just kind of got really, really messy, so we pulled the plug and we removed both videos and uh, we've spent the past few weeks just trying to figure out what we were going to do. So we have decided we're going to re-upload, but my friends have sort of deleted all of the bad footage and they bought a new camera and they bought a new microphone and they refilmed a little bit of it, so here we are, we're back again. Now what I did end up doing between then and now, I have been back to Target and I bought a few more things, just because in my friend's video uh, and later in this video that you're watching, you will see that some of the things that they bought were a little bit questionable, they were really funny, but they're not entirely home decor as such. You'll see what I mean later. But I have since been back to Target and I bought a couple of other home decor things. So I'm going to show you those now before you get on with the rest of the video. Uh, no, no, this is... So, the first thing that I picked up, this is so cute, this is a little velvet cushion. I couldn't resist a perfectly round velvet cushion, I love it! I think I might go back for more of these. I actually just got it to sit on a particular chair in the lounge room, but every time I look at it I'm like, damn, that's a nice pillow. So I want to go back and get some more, and I think I might put some on the bed, some on the couch. I mean, it was pretty cheap, I think it may have been 8 or 10 dollars. Now, also, everything you see in this video is in Australian dollars, so 500 Australian dollars is about 360 US. US dollars. Uh, the first time we uploaded people were freaking out thinking it was 500 US dollars and they were like, you hardly got anything for 500 dollars. It's Australian dollars, so relax, it's okay. So yeah, this is about 8 or 10 Australian dollars and I love it. It's velvet, very very cute cushion, really happy with that. I've also picked up a couple of these pink blankets. Now these, I think these are about $20, they're a little bit more pricey, but I do have two of them. I have one on the bed, and I also have one sitting on our couch now. It's really, really soft. Look at you. Oh, it's so soft, so soft. We love it. I also picked up one of these in white, and they do come in other colours as well. I think they have grey and they have blue. It's a very, very big blanket. Not quite big enough to fit across the whole bed, but it's still... Uh, can you see? I don't know if you can see just how big it is, but it's a very large blanket and I love it and honestly I could just cover my whole house in these. I want one on every bed, on every chair, on every couch and also I use these sort of blankets as backdrops for flat lay photos. I just think that they look really really pretty. You, you put a white one down, you chuck a whole bunch of makeup and BAM! You're a beauty blogger. <laughs> I picked up some fairy lights and I couldn't resist these when I saw them. They're kind of like gems. They're iridescent and they are somewhat waterproof so you can use them outside if you want to. They have a little battery pack here and that is sort of locked up really really tight so you can put them outside. They turn on just with the press of a button and uh, you probably can't tell that they're on because this room is so bright. But here's a photo, this is what they look like at night. They're iridescent, they are so so pretty. Target actually has a whole bunch of iridescent things at the moment. Now I think that the Australian Target is a bit different to the US Target. We have some really really cool things. They have iridescent vases and iridescent pot plants and 
an iridescent hourglass. So basically in my friend's first video they bought this, you didn't actually see it in that video that we uploaded because they broke it before they got to film it. And when I walked into my lounge room and I saw the broken one sitting there, I was like, oh my god it's amazing! And they said, oh yeah we, we broke it. They were trying to take the price tag off and they kind of fumbled and they dropped it and it smashed. So these smash really easily, but it's only about eight dollars and it's iridescent. I don't know if you can tell just how iridescent it is on camera there, but uh, it goes for half an hour which is perfect for me because my camera automatically shuts off after 30 minutes so I just set this to go and uh, <laughs> I have it with me every time I film now the purple is so beautiful purple sand and iridescent glass I just love it what do you think Archie now while we're on the purple theme, you guys will also see something similar to this later in today's video, but this is a beautiful plate. Now my friends inspired me because in their little uh, makeover they bought one of these. Uh, it has spots on it, you'll see it a bit later, it's a, it's a different shape, but there's a few that they have in this series where it's these sort of beautiful purple, pastel pink and white plates. It has a little bit of sort of golden trimming around the edge like that and because of that I don't really want to use it to serve food because I feel like if you start washing this a lot that gold will flake off so I use it as a decorative plate so I sit it on the dining room table and I put a candle on it and I put like a little fake plant it's just a really beautiful plate and I want to go back and get some more they actually have smaller ones as well I think this was about $12 or something and they have little tiny ones and I want to use them to keep jewelry on and things like that and later in the video today you will see that there's another type that I like even more than this one one, so very happy about that. This next item isn't necessarily home decor, but it is for me. I couldn't resist. I walked past this. This is bubble bath in a plastic champagne bottle. I stopped dead in my tracks when I saw it. I thought it was some sort of exotic pink liquor, but of course they don't sell alcohol in a Target, but it's pretty close. <laughs> this is the only bubbles I'll be popping. I don't think I'm going to open it. I think I just want to leave it in the bathroom because it's beautiful. I want to leave it on display. If I do decide that I'm going to use this, then I might actually go back and get a second one. I mean, it's only $5 and I feel like $5 for what I would consider to be a decorative champagne bottle in a way. I just love it. I also picked up this. This is a little bedside table, but I actually use it to sit next to my computer and I put my printer on it. I use the little drawer to store all the paper in for the printer and it's the perfect size for my printer. My printer literally sits edge to edge perfectly on this. It's got these little wooden legs that you can see there and my dining table and a lot of the little tables that my friends bought in the makeover video, you'll see them later, they all look very very similar to this. This was only about 30 Australian dollars, so maybe what's that, maybe 24 US dollars or something. And they this came in different colours, they had grey, they had different coloured legs, they had black, they had all sorts. But this one, I just love it and I want to get two more for our bedroom, I want one on each side of the bed. I just think it's a lovely really really sh sleek stylish design kind of Scandinavian and Archie's having flashbacks because when we first bought this we put him in the drawer Archie these next items I picked up as a little DIY project now in my new beauty room I've been needing a nice sort of makeup chair you know a really nice chair to sit at in front of my makeup vanity something that matches the decor of the room and I was looking on the Facebook marketplace I buy a lot of furniture secondhand and I was looking for, you know, like a stylish chair, and I came across this. Now, for a start, this is almost $600, discounted from $1,200, but also it's fur. So I wanted to try and recreate a chair similar to that, obviously for a fraction of the budget, and uh, Target was a great place to start. This chair here was only about, I think it was $10. It just folds out like this. It's just a really basic, very simple and cheap plasticky kind of chair, but because it was so cheap it left some room in the budget to buy some things to decorate it. So I picked up two of these white cushions. Now these are about $15 each, but I mainly picked them up just for the covers. I unzipped it, took the cover out of that one, and this one just so happens to fit perfectly on the chair. So here's the uh, concept that I have in mind. Basically this one I've just slipped over the top. And I've just sat that one there, but I think what I might end up doing is taking this one out of its cover as well and maybe getting Sam to help me out and we can just kind of DIY it so that it actually properly fits around the bottom of the chair here, like it's actually sort of upholstered, if that makes sense. So it's like a, a cheap DIY version of the bougie Mongolian fur director's chair and I'm not mad about it. I really, really like it. I think that from a distance it looks 
totally fine. It's kind of like my makeup. From a distance it's fine. Just, just don't get too close. And then the last thing that I picked up was this. This is a little faux fur, like a sheepskin kind of rug. And I actually was really lucky to get this because I went up to the shelf and they only had grey ones. And I said to one of the staff members, do you have any left in white? And they said, oh no, they're all sold out. But then she said, oh, actually, there might be one on display. And she took me over to the kids section and they'd set up a little display with like a cot and this was sitting underneath it. And she said, oh, you can have that one if you want. I'll give it to you for $5 because it's been on the floor. So I got this. It's actually pretty big. There you go. It's really, really soft too. These do get quite dirty easily though. And I did own one for a little while before that I got from Ikea. I put it through the wash a few times and it really just started to break apart and look really, really crappy. And I think I may have paid $15 or $20 for that one. If it sort of serves you well for like a year or so, then I guess it's alright. But yeah, for $5, even if this gets really dirty and I have to wash it and it doesn't hold its shape, well, it was only 5 bucks. So that's a good lesson, that if you don't see what you want on the shelf, don't forget to ask because you never know what they're going to come up with. So uh, with that... That's everything that I just picked up myself recently. Now, if you keep watching the video, eee, no, 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 no. If you keep watching, you'll see the rest of the video, which is where my friends, they chose the stuff, we did the reveal, I came out, had a little uh, exploration of the lounge room and found all the things that they bought. Some of the items, when we first uploaded and people watched, people were a bit upset about some of the items, they said they were a bit questionable. It's all in good fun. There are some really good finds in the rest of the video and some really, really cute uh, ways to decorate as well, some fun little DIY projects. So I hope you like the rest of the video and uh, yeah, with that, thanks for bearing with me with this long intro and uh, I hope you enjoy. Some of my subscribers may have noticed that I was uh, absent for a little while. I hadn't been active on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube and that's because we moved. That's right, I'm in a new apartment right now. It was all very sudden. We were about to renew our lease at our old apartment and just before we went to sign, we thought, mm, maybe we should have a look and see if there's anything else. Interestingly enough, if you're from Sydney, you'll understand this. Sydney housing is very expensive. It's very, very expensive to buy. Renting is also quite expensive too. Now, when we rented our apartment a year and a half ago, it was like it was a reasonable price and it was a two bed apartment. But since then, nearby, there's been a whole bunch of new apartments built and the developers basically screwed themselves over because there are so many apartments available now and uh, not enough tenants to fill them. So basically, we were able to get a three bedroom apartment for only about $20 more a week than what we were paying for our two bedroom apartment. And you could fit two of our old apartment inside this one. This one is absolutely huge. As you might see from the space behind me, it's a very cavernous and echoey lounge room. The other day, two of my best friends, Tiasha and Millie, came over to visit. Anyway, they came over to check out the apartment and they were kind of grilling me for not having decorated. They were saying it looked very boring and you know, as though the space needed some life brought into it. In our old apartment, the way that I had decorated it, it looked fine. But because this place is so big and everything's so spread out, it just looked very boring. You know, after a little bit of back and forth, we decided that it would be a fun idea for me to let them style the place for me. So I gave them $500 to spend at Target. Hey, Alex. Alex. Come out. We're ready. Come, come out. Come see what come we've out. done. Should I? Yes, um, cover. Yeah, yeah, cover your eyes a little bit. Like, just come. So, what's your disclaimer, Tiasha? Come, come stand here. So, Alex, we'd just like to say to you, you gave us $500. Yeah. Uh, we were imagining a uh, utter transformation. Don't expect that. $500 does not go as far as before. So, just know that our heart that. is in it. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Open. Uh, am I just looking at... Yeah, just open your eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's clean. Oh, oh my god. god. I got three mirrors. <laughs> Next, I started them with hearts. Oh my god. And then I made a little what archie house. Oh, what? Oh, it's his house. It's his house, yeah. Wow. So he has a little house when he oh, turns me in. This is insane. Really made a little set That is so cute. It's a little uh, seance oh, with on gods. Yeah. So I just wow. remember having to pray every night. Oh my god, is that a bird? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about that painting? Honest opinion. This one? Honest opinion. It's amazing. It. I love it. Wait, is there something different? <laughs> Have a look into Peek it. Peekaboo! <laughs> oh my god! We actually did this at 
Sam's helping. Does he have a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, they are so cute. They're also Velcro. Why are, what? Yeah, man. Oh wow. There's a lot going on. <gasps> I know. This is adorable. What oh, is this? We'll come to her later. Oh yeah, we'll discuss that. We'll so yeah, 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 just ignore that for now. See this? I had one of these and I put it through the dishwasher and, and all the print melted off it. <gasps> Don't worry about that, because suit up Sam's gonna dive onto that. Yeah, he's gonna dive onto them all so we can have uh, yeah, I've, I've told everyone behind the camera that I've just ordered like 10,000 uh, rhinestones. So. Oh, really? Put some photos of you guys oh, in there. We didn't really yeah. find room for it. Oh, that's so cute. Up, that's yeah. an insert photo. Yeah, Thank that you. That's awesome. There's one last thing that you might not have clocked, but. Uh... A big bag! We only bought one bag and oh, then Millie one. spilt like half of them. Yeah. I don't think that happened. Oh, oh. <gasps> Millie! I don't know. Get a vacuum, Millie. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally like. Sure. Do you want to sit down and find out who she is? Yeah, let's have a seat. Oh. And it matches the pink suit. Sam, pink pull up so. a chair. Oh I'm gonna, God, I'm gonna pull up a chair, but let me, let me first oh, like. Oh, Dawson merch. Wow. Hey, oh. <laughs> I have thrown that around like four times today. I'm really sorry, <laughs> Shane. I'm really sorry. Shane Dawson merch. I still hate it. This plate is so good. And the, oh my God, what? <gasps> I haven't yeah. seen one of these since I was like five yeah. years old. Except for the Hello Kitty one. That went oh five. yeah. Well, we, we don't talk about it. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Well, you guys did an amazing job. Oh, absolutely <laughs> amazing! Um, but like, real talk time. Be honest, yeah. Real talk time. Oh, there's even honest. a clock. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a clock. We got a clock. Yeah. And now she's bird house is yeah. so cute. And <laughs> are there four mirrors or are there? There's three. Three. That okay. one just has a stand, so you can change oh. how you want. How oh, tall cool. it is. Yeah. Nice. That set up there. That's amazing. It's flawless. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes. amazing. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed with that. Like you two did beautifully. I promised and I delivered. <laughs> the only thing is, is that a, is that a bar mat? Well. Is that a yes. uh, yeah? It's a bar. <laughs> yes, it's a bar. It's a bar. But so like okay, you would we never know. It's like, do we set up the table? We didn't even set up the I table. I set the table. You, there's Where a table. There? Oh shit! Oh, it is. Sorry. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry. Yesterday, I was saying I needed a table to put next to the chair there. <laughs> How did you know? Did you tell them? <laughs> no. Okay, actually, oh, no, a little bit. That's kind of my concept. I thought it would. And that's why I wanted the lamp. So I picked the lamp to be there. But see, now that it looks so good there, yeah. we're gonna have to get another lamp yeah. for there. <laughs> well, Don't use the Wi-Fi. We're we're leaving that there. One week later. Archie loves this new place because it's so big that he can just fly and fly and fly without crashing into anything. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna show them around. Let's show them around. You wanna show them your new house? Your new house? What's in there? What have you got in there? What secrets are hidden in there? We're gonna start off with the dining table and the giant pastel afro that you may have noticed. What is that, you're asking? Well, uh, I found myself asking exactly the same thing. What do you think it is? Honest, what, honest opinion. I thought it was. D does anyone know Afrocan? Do you guys know Afrocan? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, what? it's a cone. Oh, it's ice cream. Mm. Oh my mm. gosh. Oh, I mean fairy floss. It is supposed to be oh, fairy, oh, fairy floss. floss. Don't open it. Okay. But this just is a very imagine strange the, imagine, feeling. Imagine, this. I, imagine I, this. I don't know what I, I feel like a vet right now. <laughs> <laughs> imagine this, Alex. Try to just. Evert the Invert entire the thing. Just, 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 yeah, yeah. just try to, without just try to do that without ripping it. Just like try to like yeah. pop it out. Oh yeah. my god, this is yeah. ASFW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it gave back to Tiff. But keep going. But keep going. But keep going. Don't stop. And what just is ignore that, these What does that send to the air, Alex? Yeah. Could it be smell something? Oh my god. god. Wait, keep going. Wait, yeah. oh! Turn them inside out. Oh my god, this feels so It's, cool. so, it's, it's oh. so traumatizing, but you get a cute little puppy at the end. Wow. Yeah, the smell is I'm so pungent. <laughs> it smells like this is Bubble the thing, gum. isn't it? So. This is what costs a lot of money, isn't it? You know how I know? Because it's got a trademark. Like it's just oh. like oh, is it? yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Pinky, Pinky Pops so TM. <laughs> you put that little TM next to anything oh. and it automatically becomes like a thousand. Do you know okay, Alex Taxi. Okay, guess. guess. Guess how much this is. Okay, if I was a parent and I went into Target and I was going to buy my child mm -hmm. a cute pastel toy, mm -hmm. I'd probably be expecting maybe like eighty dollars or something because that's like, I, I just I just know from all of the disappointment <laughs> in my childhood going into Target and saying, Mom, can I have that? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, $80. No, no, sorry. No, you can't. It was $79. You're joking. No. Actually, it was $79. <laughs> no. You a, a childhood of not being allowed to have certain toys <laughs> has trained to you. <laughs> She's uh, very traumatized. She suits your aesthetic. Oh, yeah. He suits your aesthetic. Oh, yeah. Also, Pinkie Pop's not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> not sponsored. Oh, and also, <laughs> Randall. You get three stuffed toys and 
eight and have a lot surprise, surprise items. Yeah. Surprise it's, items. It's, okay. This has become a mystery box. This, this is, is like a mystery unboxing. Yeah. Okay. You know what I've learnt? This is out of our age group. Which hand doesn't fit <laughs> That's when you know. I think mine would fit. No, no, <laughs> not even my oh, hands. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Free you are the edge so freaky to go. <laughs> oh my god, this is so no, 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 it's like that episode where Simply and Illogical had the tiny hair. Oh so you're gonna try it anyway. Okay, let's unbox these. Okay. No. Okay, no. No. <laughs> okay. This video is taking a turn. <laughs> it's like welcome to your new yeah, apartment. Yeah. Next minute just like trying to pick things okay. up. With Mystery items. item number Mystery one. Item one. Oh, little they are beautiful little pins. What else? Uh, oh, look, bracelet. Wait, French bracelet. Oh, French. We can wear them. We can wear them. Okay, wait, okay, hang okay. on. Have I'm with the blue one. Oh, oh, you're dead to us. Blue. Sorry, Sam. I know. Millie, I, you I, told I, me I, not to buy it. Oh, uh, wow. And sorry, Sam, none for you. You know what? You okay. keep it here. Let's make one for you as well. So just put your hand <laughs> in. How do you do this? Oh, sorry, Sam. Oh, I broke another one. It's okay. There we go. That's <laughs> Sam's friendship bracelet. You're a diamond in the rough. Oh, they say things. Oh. Always on my mind. <gasps> Everything about you is porcelain. Oh. oh, this is so. How did you? Do Sam, it? what does yours say? Keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. <laughs> So here's our dining table. Now this dining table feels very small compared to what it did in the other apartment. Uh, it's... Sorry. Yes. Yes, you can. It's a white table, as you can see. But the girls have picked a pink tablecloth. I can't believe I never thought to put a tablecloth on this table. So the first thing we have here is this marvellous plate of wooden food. My friend Millie has a bit of a thing for fake foods. She decided that this would be a fantastic decoration for the dining table. It is very cute. The little pieces are like this. Ooh, they come apart with Velcro. Dan and Sam were a little bit like, but because I know Tiasha and Millie so well, I can definitely understand why they chose this. And they also picked up this. They thought that it would be a great centerpiece for the table because I'm useless at keeping flowers alive and you don't need to water this. Not for you. Next up, they picked out a couple of these tumblers. So this one here has unicorns all over it. It is so cute and I actually already had one of these, but Dan put it through the dishwasher and the unicorns melted off. There's also a few others, including Mermaid Squad and Sparkle. And this one has unicorns all over it too. They picked up this beautiful photo frame and I've just put my own Polaroids in there. It basically has a bar that runs all the way along the top. You can use little bulldog clips to clip pictures to it. You can probably do like a four by five sized photo in here, but I think it looks really cute with the Polaroids. Now I just have to figure where we're going to hang this. Seeing as we're only renting, we can't go putting holes in the walls wherever we want to. There were already some picture hooks from when they rented to this place to us so we've been using those but I can't put any new ones in without permission so hopefully I'll be able to hang this up soon I'll just have to ask the real estate agent oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. next up we have come to my favorite part of the entire lounge room this is a funny story because what is behind me has gone through a very very serious transformation this right here that you see this beautiful looking chair this is actually a dark brown chair. It's Daniel's chair from before we met. It was his gaming chair and it's like a, a very dark... It's a very dark brown leather and I've always hated it because it's so dark compared to the rest of our furniture. So the girls picked up blankets. Now I... I'll just, I'll just show you Archie. What's up there Archie? What have you found? We have this little table that they bought. I've been wanting this table for s I've been wanting this table for so, so long. I've seen it every time I've gone to Target and I've absolutely loved it. I don't know how they knew that I wanted it. I'm very glad they got that. They also got this cute little boom box as well. The Wi-Fi symbol, as Dan likes to call it. Sam picked up some Shane Dawson merch. Ah! And one of my favorite things from this entire video is this plate. This is my aesthetic to a T. I love it. It's so pretty. They also picked up these cushions here. This is mine already. This blanket I got from Target and I got that one from Target like years ago. But the girls picked up this blue one as well and I think it's so cute. I'll show you what this chair looks like without all of this on it. They also picked up 
a bean bag. Now this bean bag has a unicorn on it and you'll have to head over to their channel to see the fiasco. I, I think something went wrong with this and it's not as full as it should be. <coughs> but definitely head <coughs> But definitely head to their <coughs> But definitely head to their channel to see what happened. And now I will take you to my favorite, favorite thing ever. I couldn't have styled this better myself. I think that this is Millie's doing. Millie has such a good eye for interior design. Have a look at what she did. So she picked out this clock. This is so cute. I'm very, very glad that they put it here. I would never have thought to put a clock there, but it looks perfect in this spot. She also put together this adorable little setup, this little tiny pink lamp. This tiny little plant, and the plant is on a stand that looks just ah! like the stool that she chose, and a little candle. And there is also a bath mat underneath as well. I love this entire setup. And if you cast your eyes over here, you will see Archie's house. They did a little bit of a DIY project and they made this little Archie's house. Look, Archie, I don't think you're going to fit in there, but we could always put your almonds in there. They also picked up these mirrors that they decorated with little love heart stickers. They're so cute. They got three of them. These are the mirrors here. I won't show you all of them because there is a huge mess over there. So that area still needs a bit of work. So I'm not gonna show you the reflection very well, but they did get these three mirrors. So this place already had some holes in the walls up here but we need one here. So I'm gonna double check with the real estate agent if we can put one there, because then we can put the third mirror up as well. Oh, and there's one more thing that I forgot to show you. They also picked up this painting too. They did a little bit of a DIY project here and they put a mustache on the bird and put peekaboo in a speech bubble. And I think that their intention was to decorate all of the flowers with glitter, but they ran out of time. I'm just gonna bring you over here and show you Archie. No? I'll bring you over here. Archie. So if you guys liked this video and you want to see these uh, marshmallow gals decorate, 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 tuning in. Thank you for meeting uh, Tiasha and Millie. They are fantastic marshmallow gals and if you enjoy them and you enjoy their aesthetic, don't forget to subscribe to their channel. I'll put the link below. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. There's a green bird and a bunch of goofballs here. So what is there to not love? We have it all. We have it all. Okay, well thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.